Aloha all, Michael here. Today the topic of discussion is fact or fiction. So, a fact is something that is measurable. It is something that can be determined to be known. Whereas fiction is something that we can assess and use however it depends on the value that we place on either one of these things as to how it can expand our awareness so most scientifically minded beings will agree that factual evidence is the most useful because it makes sense it's logical it can be measured it can be ascertained it can be analyzed and therefore easily understood because it makes sense fictional data is invaluable because it deals with one's imagination and when you incorporate both of your logical and intuitive hemispheres of your brain, you're going to more easily be allowing for this information to come in if you value that information. So one of the things that I'm studying is numbers and how they relate to our reality. So the basic unit of measurement is one. And if we understand the function of measurement or counting is to determine the size of whatever it is that we're measuring. So obviously one is very useful. It serves a purpose. The binary encoded truth of our existence is that everything is really nothing more than a series of ones and zeros. So there's sequences of ones and zeros, and there is really only a matter of perception as to how you analyze and make sense out of these. So we're given this data in various forms of energy that are measurable based on their frequencies. So if we understand how zero is invaluable because it is both real and imaginary, depending on how it's used, then we can accept that our binary encoded existence is truthful. And instead of discounting the imagination, what we can do is use it to become inspired. So I love documentaries about history and science. I can become very informed about any topic that I wish, especially nowadays with access to the internet. You can really learn about anything that you can think of and it's, it's quite miraculous. If, if you think about it in those terms. So what I do is I learn the fundamentals from documentaries. While fiction, especially science fiction, really inspires me. I, I just am so inspired by things like the Dune series or the Star Wars saga. And I use both the logical and intuitive hemispheres of my brain 
whenever I'm learning about anything, regardless of it being factual or fictional. So it's really a matter of how willing one becomes to access the truth in all of this informational data and allowing it to expand your awareness. So be willing to accept the truth that can be found in anything. If you think about the array of energy frequencies that we can measure within the electromagnetic spectrum, we are still bound to believing what we see if we only use our sense of sight. So when we do that, we're really only accessing only 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is called visible light. So if that is what you use to determine the truth of a signal, you're really missing out on quite a huge portion of the entire message. So don't be afraid to use your imagination when you are creating something. This is why we are gifted with this ability to take the images and move them around and, and view things in a way that makes sense to us so that we will feel peaceful and joyful and have a fun time with our creations and bringing them into our physical reality. So enjoy the learning process. Learning is fun and it's simply a matter of the intensity of the signal and your ability to understand it. So if something is confusing, then use more of your senses. Don't just rely on your eyes. You have other senses that you can tap into that will allow you to feel everything. So have fun, enjoy, namaste.